Hey guys, in today's episode we're going to continue with all the other uh, villager trades in the village down on the island. Obviously after the last episode's ridiculousness trying to get mending off the librarians, hopefully things go a little bit smoother as we get all the other villager traders uh, set up including the armorer, the fletcher, the toolsmith, and the weaponsmith. So let's get back to the action. Blast Furnace. Those are going to give me armorers. So let's go ahead and set our four Blast Furnaces and see what we get. I see we already have an armorer. Let's see what trades he's going to give us. Coal. 15 coal for an emerald. That's not bad. Let's see. Oh, already this guy's giving me emeralds for iron. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so a full suit of iron can be had. I know, is this guy the last one? Yep. Okay, looks like... Uh, Looks like we're going to take the guy with coal, and we're going to bring him up. Now, I don't have coal over here, but not a big deal. Um, uh, let's see. All right. I'm going to get a bunch of emeralds off my farmers, and then go get a bunch of coal, and I'll be right back. Okay. Let's go ahead and slap this down. And... Uh, Get some of that good old coal and find our main guy here. Where's the... Where, where are y'all going? Oh. Uh, no. Not yet. Oh, there, there he is. Whoops. Hold still. Okay. 15 coal. Oof. All right. This won't take long at all. Uh-huh. Let's see what trades we get out of this guy. Interesting. Okay, so that still gives me some experience. Let's just use the coal to level them up. I'm not going to go get iron, even though I have probably more iron than coal. I'm not going to. Oh, and he's done. He's locked because he's leveled up. He is locked in, so I'm not super worried about it. I'm not happy. The other three guys, I'm probably going to go ahead and replace their lectern and see if I get a different uh, trade. I, the, the, obviously, when it comes to armorers, you're looking for their final trade, their master level trade. That's when you're going to get your enchanted diamond armor and or uh, chain mail. And honestly, I'm looking more for chain mail because I need it to decorate my world. I don't actually, I mean, I have netherite. And as much as I love enchanted diamond, uh, for purposes, at least one of my uh, one of my armorers, I'm going to need to get chain mail from. I think it's the armorer. Boy, am I even the leather worker? No, I think it's the armorer. We're going to find out. That's for sure. But uh, let me uh, let me get back with you once I uh, swap out these other lecterns and let's see if we can get some better trades. Lectern. I I don't know why I kept calling them a lectern. Those those are blast furnaces, and I. There's a blast furnace. Oh, I have more there. I'll show you real quick how to make a blast furnace since I hadn't done that on camera. You take a regular furnace, you take smooth stone underneath the bottom of it, and then surround the top with iron. That's how you make a blast furnace. But, yeah, anyway, that's what I meant to say, not, not lectern. Okay, a couple of good trades later, and our first armorer is fully to master level. He provides the chainmail leggings, helmet, and breast or chest plate, f for only one ruby e or emerald each, and then a full set of enchanted dimer diamond. I got fire protection 2, unbreaking 2, protection 2, and unbreaking 1. Not the best, but at only 16 emeralds per piece. That is not bad. So, since emeralds can be gotten for literally potatoes, uh, that is a nice, easy way to get uh, two very nice types of armor. So, at that point, I 
have essentially as much as I need. I'll lock my four armorers in. Um, that's about as good as you can get for armorers. And then we'll start the, uh, the next job block. The next one I'm going to do is uh, the smithing table for the blacksmiths, which should give us weapons. You're going to take... I thought I heard a monster walking around. I... Hmm. Uh, you're going to take uh, four planks and two iron, and that gives you a smithing table. So we're going to make... Three more of those for a total of four. All right. Let's head back over. And there isn't a particular reason why I'm putting one job block one place and another the other. Um, I'm just, whoops, I'm just spreading them out evenly uh, until they're all in. So, uh, as far as I know, it, no difference is made where you place them as long as they're just near the village. The villagers will find their way to them. Okay. Alright. Stone tools there. It's not particularly fantastic. What is this guy? That's that's my here we go. Stone pickaxe. It looks like I'm not gonna get Oops. there we go. The okay. Coal Coal for M. Where did I put the coal? Yeah, I hate to spend, uh... I hate to spend emeralds on the first trade. Um... So let's try to spend, uh, less expensive... ...item to see what we can get, get with our next trade. Okay, so far... That's not bad. Four iron for an emerald and as much iron as I have. That's a, that's a nice amount of iron. Or a nice amount of uh, iron. Oh, I'm sorry, right. Toolsmith. That's what does the smithing block. He's not a weaponsmith. He's a toolsmith. This is where we're going to get our diamond, hopefully, enchanted tools. So let's just keep using iron as that's an easy way to level them up. Oops. Okay. A diamond efficiency 2 axe for only 19. That is not bad. That's... Hmm. What trade's going to get me? Let me see. I have iron. I brought a whole bunch of iron because I assumed that's what they would be trading with. Let's... Uh, some of those. Okay. Oh, he's tired of that trade. Okay, I'll let him recoup for a second. Let's go to the next guy. Um, my armorer, I can... Yeah, he has a good trade. Let me level this armorer up while we're standing right here. There we go. Pants, protection too. And they're not terribly expensive. That's not bad. He's going to give me a little bit better trades for the diamond enchanted stuff. I can combine them to get protection three. Uh, although you want to kind of mix it. You know, I have pro projectile protection, blast protection, and then regular protection. So, you know, you want to mix your enchantments up to have everything, but still, not bad. Let's see. Where is this guy? I think this guy works right here. So let's go ahead and break that. Okay. It's the axe. 
And let's see if we can get a slightly better tool. While we're waiting for that, let's come down here and check this armorer. I didn't do anything with and Those aren't great trades. And this toolsmith, also not particularly good. So let's go ahead and chop this out and change it. Okay, now we've got some coal, which is a better way to level them up. Whoops. Let's see what we get. Also, if you have been paying attention, I'm level 61. I started this endeavor at level 44. Um, I don't think there's really a faster way to level up than to trade with villagers. You, you get a pretty significant amount of levels that just leveled again with those trades so it is okay now we're getting a diamond hoe that's the one thing i need right let's keep trading iron with this guy he's tired of iron let's go back to coal actually at this point oh that's a bad he's not going to give me a lot of experience for an emerald uh, okay, let's let him cool off a second and go find uh, next guy. Okay, I might as well level up. I don't. Do I need a crap ton of stone shovels? No, I don't. But I keep leveling up guys with just coal to begin, so I might as well level up somebody without it just to see if it makes a difference. So far, nothing. Let's see if he's got something on level two. Iron, fortune, unbreaking. Well, that's that's a very nice iron pickaxe, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for diamond. So we'll uh, let's see. All right, I'll come back to him when he's refreshed. And then I believe, let's see. All right, I'll be back when I get them all leveled up. So I'm just going to go start making bread uh, while these guys, uh, and let's see if I have enough iron. Don't, did I? Yeah, I have enough iron to keep trading. So I'm just going to go get a bunch of bread and... I'll be right back. Also, as a side note, I just wanted to point this out. Um, you, you get tons of emeralds really quickly, but you also get just tons of good stuff. Look at all these cookies. All the suspicious do. Oh, I had bread right there. Oh, cool. I'll use that first. Um, a whole bunch of stone pickaxes I don't need. Uh, a bunch of chain mail. Breast, chest plates. I don't want to say breastplate. That's just in the old game I used to play. They referred to them as breastplates instead of chest plates. So I just had that stuck in my head, I guess. But the helmet and leggings and... Just, oh, hello, Iron Golem. Uh, and a whole bunch of boots. So I have literally all the chainmail to make all my chainmail armor stands for around the castles and stuff already. I literally already have it from just trading them to level them up. I also had a bunch of shields I don't need and a whole bunch of stone shovels I sure as heck don't need. But you will end up with gobs and gobs. I'm going to take these right now and go ahead. Those are the efficiency five books. Two mending and a looting two. Why not? I can bring this up to a looting three if I combine the looting two and take these all up to efficiency five, which is what I'm going to do. I have 62 levels. I might as well go spend them and then also get a bunch of bread. So I'm going to be right back. Let's get a toolsmith all the way up and see what he gives us. Okay. An efficiency two pickaxe for 16. That's not bad. I wish I had more trades than that. Okay. This armorer. Let's go ahead and get him all the way up. All right. 
Unbreaking 2, Blast Protection, Unbreaking. The Unbreaking 2 is not bad. You can combine two of them and get Unbreaking 3. So, and they're not horribly expensive. Not too bad there. Okay, here's our Toolsmith. We have an Efficiency 2 Unbreaking 1 Axe. Let's go ahead and level him up. An Unbreaking 1 Pickaxe. Not the best for being level of a Master, but it's only 14. So, yeah. See this tool smith. Let's level him up. And now we have an efficiency two shovel for twelve. That's not bad. And a silk touch pickaxe. It could be worse. This one definitely gave us, if that had been diamond, that would have been okay. But efficiency, two on breaking. I think we have all the tools covered fairly well. So let's move on to our next job block. Let's get some weaponsmiths. So to do a weaponsmith, go like that, like that, that, and that. And that should give you the grindstone. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Okay. Also, uh, when I uh, went ahead and tried to get my efficiency or, or uh, put the enchantments on, I was successful in getting efficiency 5 on my axe, shovel, and fortune pickaxe, but it was an absolute nope on the sword and the than a Silk Touch pickaxe. I was not able to get Efficiency 5, unfortunately, on the Silk Touch one, which means I'll probably have to make another one. This thing's just out of trades. Um, tools now, ever since the more recent updates, only are allowed to be enchanted so many times before they simply won't allow you anymore. And both my Silk Touch primary Netherite pickaxe and my primary sword have simply run out. If you're wondering what I wanted to do on the sword, obviously I wanted to bring it up to looting three. Um, and I think that's about it. But still, I wanted looting three on the sword, and then I wanted uh, efficiency five on my primary pickaxe. Um, I could have also put, I guess, efficiency five on the hoe, but uh, it, it's, it doesn't even have mending on it, to be honest. So I, I guess I could also do that, but it's another right hoe, I mean... Really? I, plus, if I wear this one out, then I'll get the enchantment. Um, or not the enchantment, excuse me, the uh, the uh, accomplishment, what do, they, what do they call that? Uh, achievement, yes. I can, get an, I can wear this one out and get an achievement, but I don't know. Netherite's hard to come by. So anyway, let's go get our uh, weaponsmiths. Okay. Let's see what we get with the weaponsmiths. Here's our first one. Uh, hmm. No, he's not good. I'll replace him. Nope. Cool. All right. Nope. He's uh, not that's enough. Let's see. Okay. Switch to iron, so I'll come back for him with iron. And let's see what this weaponsmith gives us. Coal as well, so let's get him started. Alright. Let's see what he gives us. Same thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, put the coal up for a second and grab the iron.
I just picked up two levels just to show you how quickly you level up trading. All right, still nothing yet, and he's out. He won't take anything else. So let's wait for him to recharge and find the other guy. Here we go. Hmm. That was a really bad trade, so I'm not going to bother with him. Let's see. Where's the other one? Oh, there you are. All right, let's see what he gives us. Uh, still nothing great yet. Okay, so while we're waiting for those guys to re-accept iron, I don't want to keep using coal because it's just, uh, I don't actually have that much of it, to be completely honest. You have to actually, you know, iron, I get an infinite supply from my iron farm. Coal, I have to go mine, even though you get tons of it. I don't want to deal with that. So <clears throat> let's figure out where the two job blocks are we need to destroy and replace, and let's try to get some new, uh, some, some new weaponsmiths. Block. There we go. We've got him on coal as a first trade, which is what we're looking for. Let's uh, set down the iron a second and grab that coal and level, level him up. Let's see what he does. Okay. We've got him locked in for second level. We'll get him up in a second. And I think I'm going to... I don't care for the fire aspect. I'm going to keep one of them... Yeah, I'm going to try leveling him up anyway after I get this guy leveled up. So let me dump the coal a second. And grab the iron again. Nothing yet. We'll wait on him. Let me go back over to this guy and get him up another level. <clears throat> okay. An efficiency 2. I like that. Efficiency 2 is not bad. Let's go ahead and get him up all the way to expert. Or, excuse me, master. There we go. And what else did I get? Uh, smite to sword for 20. That is not what I was looking for. That guy might find his way over to the train station. Let's check his friend over here. Okay, let's bring him up. Get him. Move. All right. Again, an unbreaking axe. Still not really what we're looking for. Let's get him to master. What? Whoops. Oh, I'm out of iron. Just a second. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. And iron, I'll trade iron for emeralds all day. Okay, Bane of Anthropos. Wow, that is even more trash. Hmm, all right. Well, some people are going to end up visiting the train station, and let me try this one guy that did not have a good initial trade. Um, let me grab some, a couple of these here, and a little bit more, because I'm going to have to sp spend. I hate spending emeralds on junk, but if those guys did not level up like I wanted, let me try this guy. Nothing like wasting a whole bunch of emeralds on something you're just going to throw away into a pit of lava. Alright, 
Maybe he'll level up to something nice. Okay. And one more time. Nothing yet. All right, we'll give him a break a second until he accepts iron again. Hold still. Uh, this guy take iron yet? He never did. Oh, he's already full. Never mind. Okay. All right, I'll be back. Okay. We managed to get a unbreaking sharpness one. Those are not great enchantments, but they're both enchantments you want on a sword. Bane of Anthropods can kiss my ass. Um, and it's only 14 emeralds, which as you see, we can collect per pretty easily. So 28 emeralds would get us unbreaking two, sharpness two. That's a lot of emeralds to get a really, really good diamond sword, but at least it's something we would want. An unbreaking three on a diamond axe, even though it's kind of an expensive trade, is not bad either. So I don't think this guy's going to head to the train station. Let's see if we can get another one. And don't forget to feed them when they're all uh, present. That way we can get even more villagers. And yes, this place will get pretty ridiculous uh, when they have all... Oh, there we go. Yeah, you guys should get a room. Hmm. Oop, everywhere I look. Man, this is turning into a nightclub. All right. Okay, this guy ended up giving me an efficiency to silk touch axe for 21, which is okay. And then for only 15, when he's giving me a deal, a looting one diamond sword. That is okay. Not great, but okay. All right. At this point, I have weaponsmiths, armorers, toolsmiths, librarians, and farmers. The only other uh, village... What are you doing in there? Uh, the only other villager that is super important for me is the Fletcher for the bow. Um, fisherman and the, the smoker for the, the butcher and just those, those trades are less useful, at least to me. Um, that's why I always start with these guys when it's still manageable. I'll put the other trades in so that I have them, but more for completion than because I tend to use them a lot, other than trading inexpensive things that I have in large quantity for tons and tons of emeralds, but I've already got tons and tons of emeralds just in the little bit of trading I've been doing, and I've already up back up to level 34, so... I'll, uh... Oh, they grew up. Yeah, it's weird. The baby, the baby villagers climb up into the fences, and they get stuck. Watch this. And then they're happy when I let them out. It's weird. If they wouldn't climb in there, then they wouldn't get stuck. But anyway, um, once all the job blocks are in place, they can't get stuck up there anyway. Come on out of there. Uh, I'm going to need another batch of babies in a minute anyway. So I'll get the, uh, the fletching block, which is... Okay, uh, it's pretty much the same thing, except now there's flint on top instead of iron. Okay, let me go get some flint, and we'll get those four made. Okay, so I have gotten two Fletchers all the way up to master level, and one of the you know, unfortunate things about leveling up Fletchers is you spend a lot of emeralds to find out that you get a crap trade. A power two bow is not something I really want. A piercing two crossbow is definitely something I don't want. Um, and unfortunately, I had to spend... You don't get a lot for the sticks, so you just have to start buying tons of crossbows, which gives you the best amount of experience, but you still burn up a ton of emeralds, unfortunately. And so I ended up... Sp between the two, Fle and I have another Fletcher over here. Let me show you him real quick. I've got an Unbreaking 1, whoopee-doo, an Unbreaking Crossbow, also whoopee-doo. That's a 
cheap, but who cares? And Arrow of the Turtle Master. Slowness, six for two seconds. Resistance, four for two seconds. What a strange two-second enchantment. And you get five of those arrows for only one whole emerald and five of your own arrows. But again, unbreaking one, unbreaking one. I probably spent... Yeah, three stacks of 64 emeralds uh, to find out that my Fletchers were a duds. And that is the one downside to Fletchers, is it's you won't know if you're going to get a good trade until the end. Um, here I've got a power one bow. You know. Uh, do I want to keep pushing him? Grab another stack of my precious emeralds just to show. And, you know, if you look at how much experience I get for the sticks, the quickest way to do it is just to buy a bunch of these stupid crossbows. I'm not even going to put them in my inventory. All right. Crossbows laying all over the ground because they're junk. And I got Arrow of Turtle Master again and another Unbreaking Crossbow. So, yeah, you spend an awful lot of your hard-earned emeralds to find out your Fletchers are junk. So, I'm probably not going to worry about it, honestly. I don't have a problem getting high-powered bows. So, uh, let me go ahead and dump... Really, guys? Um, these crossbows. Uh, get a lava machine over here and start burning this stuff up. I have no use for any of this stuff. That's some of the stuff I traded for is stuff I want, but as you can see, you just get tons of junk. Um, eh, oh well. So, I have definitely used up... I had a lot. I had... It's what it takes. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and feed these guys again. Where's... Where's my bread at? Come on, there it is. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. Yep, they gobble that stuff up greedily and bring me many more villagers because a whole bunch of these guys are definitely going to the train station. And that... Oh, I swear to God. All right, I'm going to do the rest of these... I probably am not even going to bother showing you. I'm just going to go ahead and lay out the rest of the the tr uh, the different the different job blocks. And when I'm done, I'll just show you everything. All right. Okay. So now we have all the other job blocks in place. We have the stone cutter's wheel for the mason. We have the brewing stand for the cleric. I think you get potions, various potions. The smoker, that's the butcher, uh, if you want to get like smoked pork chops, but you can do that yourself. You don't really need to trade with these guys to get these things. Um, the cartography table gives you the cartographer. The loom, uh, that's for uh, getting like banners. Let's see, you can, uh, you can make banners, you know, to hang, uh, like basically their window shape, you know, the, the curtains, but they can be custom. Uh, the cauldron gives you the butchers, the butchers, the smoker. So this is the leather worker. I don't know why the leather worker is the cauldron, but he is. I think is that him right there? Yeah, that's where he was headed. Um, and you, he trades leather. So, and the fisherman is the last one. That is the barrel. That's right there. So. Uh, you can get a bucket of cod from him, I guess. He's, I don't know, there's really not a lot of point to the fisherman, the leather worker. I could see uses for the loom if you want to do custom things. Uh, the shepherd, which one's the, sh oh, the shepherd's the loom, that's right, okay. Um, yeah, you get shears, oh, there we go. So, and the librarian, we got that guy here, it is the cartographer. Now the cartographer, ocean explorers map, all right? You can get, he is the one that has something useful. When you get him leveled all the way up to a master, there's a possibility you can get a woodland mansion map. 
which makes him very useful because woodland mansions can be thousands of blocks from spawn. So the cartographer, that's your guy right there. Um, so he does have a pretty significant use. Um, so good luck with that, trying to get him to give you that. And then here's your cleric. He gives you... Now, cleric does the brewing stand and gives you potions. Uh, you can obviously make your own. So, and then the stone cutter is for the mason. Excuse me, you get bricks. You know, I mean, so these are these are shortcuts to getting things you could make yourself. I don't think I might be wrong, but I don't think these guys necessary. Other than obviously getting some of the specialized maps, I don't think these guys give you things that you can't get yourself. So. I don't interact with them much, but they're all here now, hard at work. So, um, it's kind of cool to see them all working their, their, their job blocks, like the good little laborers that they are. Obviously, I won't be coming over here often. I will take, when, once, I, once I start building along the uh, peninsula over here, I'm going to put in shops, basically 13 shops to represent the 13 professions. And those booths will have, I'm going to put a, I'll, I'll take these guys, I'll kidnap the uh, the absolute best ones of each trade, one or two each, and then I'll bring them over here and, and I'll put them, I'll lock them up in their booths. So I don't have to come to the island, I don't have to deal with the noise and fight the crowd. Um, you know, I'll keep it here obviously for breeding purposes if I need to change out the villagers or I need to make more, the game introduces new jobs. I can add more to the town square and get more, you know, with all the villagers in one spot, it's real easy to breed them to get even more villagers. I'll also probably put a fence up around the island just to protect them. The villagers don't normally go in the water. It's not that the wa they won't. They will. They, they have. They can go in water if they want. They just normally don't. And the mobs, same thing. They won't spawn on the island. They could, they could spawn on the shore or nearby, and they can go across the water if they want. They, it slows them way down, and the, sometimes the sun rises and burns them up before they have to get. You know, the, by the time they make it here. But technically, it's not perfectly safe until you actually put a wall up. Um, so I might do that. I'm going to put a nice bridge, a decorative bridge, in from the peninsula to the island. I'll have the, my regular trades over here for quick access, and on the island, the island, I might expand the village to fill the whole island for decorative reasons, but I'm pretty satisfied with the way things turned out now. It took a little bit longer than I expected, but we do have 52 trades, most of them leveled up pretty well, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was actually a couple different episodes to get to this point, so thanks for watching. Have a good one. It's all quiet. I was like that. Yeah. All the villagers are sound asleep. It's just me and the iron golems. Somebody's awake. Nope, there's one, another one there. One, two, three, four, and s five is probably in the attic. At least. Quiet. Too quiet.